Supplemental Log, December 12, 2010, I'm going to call Ida Smith at the office of Congressman Meeks to find out what's going on here. Good morning, Ms. Hart. May I speak to Ida, please? Thank you. She's just like my mother, always put me on hold. That was my biological mother. So I get adopted by all these other women and I love it. But my loyalty to my mother was that she didn't have time, because that time was to make money to give me or the people that were taking care of me. That's why I love her so much. I learned that in my later years. We weren't friends before that. We were not. I didn't meet a guy at 25 and then I just like... Shh. Took me 25, 20 some years to learn to love her. See how long I went home? I ain't like that. Totally disrespectful. And I'm the guy that put my neck and my reputation on the line. My boss was in trouble. We're all in union. Thought he was crooked. I worked for a Thompson campaign and the Democrats like a dog. Never got no credit. And from the conversation with Kim Fuller, <laughs> oh, four minutes, time on hold. I must be calling Social Security. And this is the kind of treatment I normally get that I be bragging about it so great. It's bullshit. Good Hello, Ida. How you doing? I'm not sure. How are you? Oh, I'm doing no, I'm not just, um, I just, that... Something's wrong with your voice. What's wrong? That walking pneumonia I had. No, it never went away. I'm still getting taken care of by Aza. Okay. okay. Now, Ida, I, I got a big problem. Ida? I'm why can't you all put on a piece of paper Natchez conducting a formal redlining? Why is my stuff missing? What's going on? What stuff is missing? The two books I gave you to the White House, I spoke to Kim Fuller this morning. 
Who has them? You have them. You took no, them yourself. No, I didn't take them. You did take them. You told me, well, if they're not going to D.C., I need to keep them. And I said, fine. That's not what we said Friday. No, we said Friday. I said, if, if Kim doesn't have them, you have them. Because I gave her something that she carried back. Hold on a second. Do, yes, ma'am. No, oh, wait. Back. No, let Ida, Ida. Um, I no, spoke I'm to her already. I don't what want did to. She say? What did she say? She said she got one book yeah. that I addressed to the Justice Department. Yeah. I never sent anything to the Justice Department. There no. were only two books for the White House and the White White House only. So, so she took it upon herself to give it to the Justice Department, Ida. How you say, Ida? Well, these no, people destroyed my life. No, these you people have, hurt you have me. Bear in mind, you have to bear in mind this protocol. Okay, we don't send anything directly to the president. I told I you. I do. I did, and look at what I got. What y'all did didn't get me nothing. Well, You've been watching it. me for years. You've been watching me for years. You you know I'm not crazy, and you know what I got. If it ever gets exposed, everybody's screwed. I haven't exposed anything. That's what the problem is. I needed you to. No, I could not do what I was told I couldn't do. Oh, you would? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mommy, you know what? Then, I'm a, then, I, then I was right about you. And I was. I told you. I told you from the jump what was going to happen. I told you that they were not going to read it, and that's why you took the other one. I told you. I've if I if I got them, if I got them, I got them. Okay, but uh, anyway, the the exact same thing are the court papers for my appellate court case, so it's not lost. I just wanted your copy so that I can show that I submitted this, that it was supposed to be for the White House, and it never was sent there to your office, and it was your superior that contained it. That, that's obstruction of justice. No, it isn't, because you could have sent it yourself, and you didn't want to. Because with, with the evidence that you that you got that you read and you concluded that night is conducting a form of redlining only you can say that not me but you said it and i said i agree i didn't put words in your mouth i never said it you, i i said i agreed with you it was a form of it okay I, and I Ida, don't, don't, don't say that i said that because i didn't say it all right then, then you did what you did anyway then 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 what i'm then what i and what it said is, and what it's to say, is that the Office of Congressman Meeks agrees with the evidence, which is what we said from the beginning, that um, from the look of the evidence, not what I said, it's what the evidence says. NYCHA is conducting a form of redlining. No. we've always agreed to that the evidence speaks for itself. Right. Well, then somebody's supposed to do something after I lost all this, Ida. After I lost all this, don't you want to help me get my money? That's the only way I'm going to get a pretty woman. You have enough brains and wherewithal. You don't need a pretty woman. <laughs> you always do what you know you have to do. That's not a requisite. God. And you know that's a fact. And you know that's not what you're about. Oh, well, guess what? Mother is courting a woman for me, giving me things to take to this woman that's got two kids. She just got a brand new baby, the boy. I met the guy, and I was giving, I was going, I'm, I was telling him, I'm giving this kid a college scholarship because I pay like 40 bucks a month, and he gets at least a two-year degree and all that. And then she tell me, she ain't with, and I mean, she gorgeous. I love them kids. But I'm tired of getting a woman to loving their kids. I've been through that already, raising people. Why do you think when I get mad, I say all oh, the bad things I say? Well, you know, you can blame whatever you want, but it's all coming from your mind. So anything you say, I'm, I, I'm not going to agree. How do, I, how do I regain all the money, all the time, everything I lost? Well, what happened to the Aquatube campaign? Aquatube is right here. I got it out. Then why, aren't, well, then why aren't you doing it? I need money from all of my losses 
in order to kick this off. I need 70 grand just for the radio commercials. I need another thirty thousand dollars to give to them down. I need at least a hundred fifty thousand dollars. I spent I close to four hundred already. I have a contract which is a which is an allotment contract. I've got to spend all of the advertising dollars in order to generate what I need to to make it uh, um, a mutual a contract is something that do, two people provide. My 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 pursuit of this cause for black people's rights that all the black politicians did all everything they could to destroy my help the city destroy my life. I don't believe that you don't believe that you Yes I do, Ida, Ida. No, listen to me, Ida, Ida. When when you when you when the office of the congressman got evidence that something is so egregious has occurred and that the president's office responds to the Justice Department with and, and the, the letter showing... And that's, and that's exactly why she sent it to the Justice Department. Where was I supposed to... I wasn't supposed to know what she sent, when she said it, how she sent it, what's going on? So that'd be consistent. Let, let, let me speak to her because if she told you she sent it, she sent it. Okay, then I need a response to that. She was telling me since my stuff was so garbage and disoriented, no, they don't no, respond they, to that. Excuse me. They've moved offices twice. And you know what it's like to move your house? It's worse when you're moving an office. Okay. Guess what? That's why the letter from the VA, I use that as my own excuse not to file litigation on anybody like I was threatening and all that stuff because we need to get this together please but I'm going on vacation I'm done after I'm talking trying, to you I'm trying, I'm trying to find your white book if she says she has one I know you have the other because I didn't want it here okay guess what now you know now I know how important it would look right now no, I'm no, that's not it that is not it what, what, what it is is that you I told you that they weren't Okay. You, took, you said, if that's the case, then I need to hold on. That's fine. And, you, and then something else happened, and you needed it anyway. Right now... You don't remember that? No, ma'am. But that's okay. I got the duplicate in the court moving papers in appellate division. It's going to cost $300 to get it. That's all. Nothing else. But I just needed that one because since you all had it, I wanted to show that I did my due diligence to bring this forward. I got a book coming out. I got to prove everything I say. Well, you have enough documentation to prove everything you say. I've always told you that. All right, now I'm selling that story. But then now what about um, this whole situation with it goes back all the way to the Attorney General, which is now the Governor-elect, unleashing NYCHA and untying their hands with no oversight for them to write policies that is eliminating people because of the Clinton Administration Welfare Elimination Program. This is crazy. This can get me killed. The things I'm saying. And the evidence points to it. What do you want me to do now? Get out with my life. That's what I got to do. Get, no, get on. Oh, get on with my life. Well, yeah. well, I don't know. I think I'm going to go hit on this young girl half my age with two kids and a brand new born baby. As a matter of fact, you can see the baby on the internet now. That's my new show. <laughs> and Kim told me to stop. I can't let them get away with this. All right, let me go get me a woman. Listen, I got a story for you. This is the story. I'm going to Florida to meet up with the Cuban uh, uh, mermaid colony who meet every 10 years to mate. But what they do first is that there, there's seven sisters from the seven seas that end up meeting up on Cuba Island to rest, go to Haiti um, to eat, and then beach themselves and turn into regular women in, 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 on, on, on Miami Beach and the guy that's lucky enough um, to be standing there as a homeless guy on the beach 
gets to mate with the seven sisters, but the irony is...